Hello, Barma Karthi here from Bold and Break. Welcome to this Cinema 4D quick tip. This quick tip was requested by Moss Promo. Uh, Moss Promo asked, is it possible to convert your displacement maps into actual typology editable polygons? Yes, it is. So let's get started. Let's create a plane. And on this plane, we want to put a displacer. So drag our displacer under our plane. We can also access the displacer from this tab here under spline wrap. Um, and we cannot see any of our lines dividing our object. So to see our topology, we want to go to quick shading lines. Uh, we want to add way more segments to this because we are displacing it. Select your displacer. And you can add your normal Cinema 4D max on noise. But what we're going to do is we're going to add this brick displacement map. And yeah, here you go. This is your displacement map. So you can change the parameters of the displacement map in here. You can add more strength. You can add some height. Which is cool. And if we were to turn off our shading, you can see now, topology isn't perfect here, so maybe let's add some more segments. But 500 is usually, yeah, so there we go. Let's turn back on our lines, and that is quite heavy. Now, to convert it, uh, select both, go down to current state to object, and you can delete these if you want, if you wish. And this is all editable. There's a lot of topology for Cinema 4D to work with. It's quite heavy. I would recommend maybe only using this technique if you're maybe bringing in something like ZBrush or an external program. So it's not the most efficient way um, to use objects in your scene, but it's fine to use, you know, if you want to edit bits of it or, you know, use this object as part of something else. And um, let's just show you uh, how to work with a sphere as well, because people love displacing spheres. So we want to bring our segments up to 72 displacer in here Check below and we're going to use our max on noise this time that it doesn't look quite smooth and you have this pinching at the top and at the bottom which we don't really want so um, first we're going to use our subdivision surface and you can see that pinching still happening so to get rid of that pinching what you do is you can change the sphere type and you can see how this can, you know, render a better looking sphere. And just play with the options you have here to get something that works for you. And again, if we want to go into our noise, you can change all your parameters here as normal. And then we can change our strength of our displacement to here. And the same applies. Uh, select all your objects and Go to current state to object and you delete that and this is all editable which is okay cool i hope that helped uh comment like subscribe all those good things is there anything in cinema 4d you want to see uh, that could be done quite quickly let me know in the comments below thank you for watching and goodbye